So this is part uh, two of the uh, uh, Wakanda series. Uh, and um, there's going to be uh, quite a few, I think. I don't know how many parts are going to be, uh, quite a few. Um, little, uh, uh, it, uh, I say dispatches from me, T, from the palace is taking a train to Tibet. Uh, here we go. Now I'm not going to do, I'm not going to really talk about the film exactly. Not right now. It's still this is a Saturday. This is a Saturday after the Friday that it opened, and uh, I want to give a few days so people can see it or whatever have you. So I'm not going to really talk about the film. I'm going to talk about ancillary things. This is part two of this ancillary series that I'm going to do right now. Okay. Uh, the first thing I want to say is the uh, films are very important. Okay. Um, Back when I was at WBA, I was just doing a lot of author interviews and stuff like that. One of my producers interviewed this guy, Lennox Schlain, and um, um, he deals with. He was a brain surgeon, but he, uh, he was dealing with some stuff. For, anyway, he was dealing with some stuff. And um, one of the things he said was that the human beings are visual people. Hmm. And when you think about this, you know, um, this whole reading thing, or from, or from, from, uh, or even orality. Or, or, or even when you was sitting around a campfire, you know, the stories were, were, were was told to you. But you know, there was always somebody telling a story. They were doing some visual stuff, you know, whatever it is. So anyway, so it's no surprise to me in this modern day and age, um, people are really. I won't say they're giving up books. A lot of people read books. Of course, I read books. I love books. Um, but uh, for the most part, most human beings, they're stimulated, but somehow they want to be arrested. They want to be totally arrested with, with, with the visuals. That's why I like to read, because you're not taking everything. Your sense is not taken. You know, the TV is worse. I don't even have a TV. Anyway, but the point really is, um, vision is very important. Now, in, um, we're going to talk about film, of course. Now, um, I have a background in film. Not, well, I have a background in film. Let's leave it at that. Um, but I've seen a lot of films. Now, the first, for instance, let me give you the power of film. Um, the, 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 aside from Water Worlds, not Water Worlds, I'm talking about, um, well, you know, Austin Wells doing Citizen Kane, uh, uh, the first real, that had an incredible impact was a film that was the first film that was shown at the White House, you know, the American, you know, White House. Um, um, I think uh, it was Woodrow Wilson. Uh, Woodrow Wilson, the, uh, who used to be president of, of, um, of Princeton College at the time, it's like 19 whatever. 13, 14, 15, but around that time. Um, well, he's president. Uh, plus, he was something. Remember, see, Princeton, people don't realize it, but Princeton at that particular time was really the South. I won't get into it. Uh, but he, um, but he's racist, okay? Rudolph <laughs> was, was racist. racist. He's going to put government, he, he, in fact, he had a, a law in government when he came to office with government employees, because black, black people by then was. was well, it was free from slavery, but into Jim Crow and, and being put in jails and still for vagrancy and stuff like that. But he had, if they had black and white uh, in, the, in, 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 the, in the whatever secretarial pool, whatever it is, he would put a curtain between them. You know, that's how the, you know, you know these, these Anglo racist white supremacists that, that support the system, their system of Anglo racist white supremacy, they're the officious mean. When he showed this film at the White House, and the film was Birth of a Nation by D.W. Griffith, based on this. This novel, you know, of the Klan's, and it's about the Klan. Uh, it, it, it precipitated the rise of the Klan. Okay, the Klan was sort of waning, but it, it really brought them. And this is what the visuals do, and it's really berating black people. Right now, interestingly enough, uh, well, D.W. I'm, I'm a cinema person. It's, uh, he got a lot of you know, people were talking about this and stuff like that. But he's like a filmmaker. He's not uh, whether he's racist or not. I don't know, but I can't call him racist. I don't want to call anybody racist unless they say they're racist. Uh, Except for Woodrow Wilson, he really was a racist. Um, um, so oh, you know, he's got so much flack for that. You know, uh, that he his a follow-up film that he did was being called Intolerance, which is like an amazing film. Cinematically, it's like really it's far and above Birth of a Nation. Uh, it was like it's just a, a fantastic film. You should, you should check it out if you can. I'm sure it's online. You know, I saw it a long time ago. You know, at the, the, I used to go to um, the, um, the the public library had this. Uh, New York Public Library had this other branch right around the corner from the main library, or close to the main library. Mid, I think it's called Midtown Branch, something like that. And they had a film kind of thing down there. And I would go there all the time and watch films. I mean, just go there and watch a film. Library go get you to watch films, you know, old films. Anyway, so it was a modern phenomenon. Now, it's interesting enough, um, uh, 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 Nate, Nate, Nate Parker, this, this actor, uh, uh, wanted to do his film on, uh, on uh, Nat Turner. 
and uh, and the, the film was already done. It was ready to do the press tour, and then this, all this news broke, and and you know the political. Well, it, the film basically. I want to say sabotage for like a wide audience, right? I've never seen the film actually because it didn't even come to South Africa. But if it did come, I didn't, I didn't, didn't know about it. Even if it came to South Africa, I'm sort of t like two hours away from the, a movie theater, right? Except when I was living in Cape Town, that was different. But I see films all the time, especially like Cape Town because well, a lot of South African and Durban too, they have these film festivals, which are really great. Yeah. Anyway, I'm back on the point, sorry to this way. Um, but there was a chance, I, Barack Obama was still in office when Birth of a Nation was done. He could have showed, you know, the, the Nat Turner thing in a way. That would have been really, very cool. But, you know, Barack Obama, I don't know about that cat. Anyway, so this uh, film that's come out, uh, Black Panther, uh, the Marvel, based on the Marvel comic, uh, Black Panther, um, is very important because it, it, it's, it's, it's one of those films that has an impact. Uh, just like Birth of the Nation, D.W. Birth of the Nation started a, started a movement. Uh, that the consciousness was altered by one film, right? Uh, I doubt if Donald Trump is going to show it in the White House, but it doesn't matter, right? It doesn't concern him, you know? It needs to be shown when every... But like like when Oscar Michelle was 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 going around you know making films in the South and then showing them in the North showing them in, in the North in, in uh, church basements and stuff like that that's what this film needs to do and in fact it's interesting because the way that Marvel now make their money or any big studio makes their money is that's why it's so important to go to that first weekend or the first or second or even third week even fourth week is that uh, every week that the the, the, the first the way they changed the system a long time ago, not a long time ago, recently, that a, a studio makes their money for, uh, from those first few weeks. Then as, as, the, as the movie gets extended, then the percentages change and then the movie theater makes more money. The reason why your popcorn and, and you know, your, your refreshments cost so much is because the movie, the movie theaters have to make their money too. So that experience, they try to get you to, you know, really, uh, uh, spend your money those first few weeks at the theater because if the, if the movie doesn't have legs, as they say, uh, then by the time it's, it, the initial people go, then they won't make as much money. But if Black Panther stays in theaters for a very long, a longer time, what will happen is the theaters will start making more. Say, say the percentage right now is like, I don't know, I'm just going to make a percentage. Say right now it's like 90% of the, of the profits the first week and profits goes to the, to the company and 10% and goes to the theater. I'm just making these numbers up. They're like maybe the, I'm just gonna keep on making them up. Then maybe the second week, like you know, 80% will go to the thing and 20%. Then it'll keep on going like that. So about the fourth week, you know, you might you might you might go down to like the the you know um, I don't know like 60% will go to the theater and only 40% will go to the co company. So it's good that uh, even if you uh, don't want to see it the first week, just see it in the subsequent weekends to keep that to keep to keep the film in that theater. Okay, uh, since we don't have really have independently owned theaters anymore, you know, yeah, you know, what can I say? I saw the film at a, at a place uh, in East London, which is weirdly an independent film. Somehow they, you know, they're not associated with any big chain or anything like that as an independent film um, or theater. Okay, so back to my ancillary things. So that's very, 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 very important. But more, more important than than in all of that is that. Uh, if you have something like this that has a momentum that shows uh, um, um, folks in a positive light, then it should be seen. You, you, you should support it. I'm sure there's a lot of naysayers, there's people saying this and saying that about it, and you know, and, you know a lot of people, they just want to, they want to control, the, I don't say control the narrative, but they, they, they have their own agendas that they, what they want to do. I don't want to spoil the film, but I just want to give one little tiny thing that I saw. Uh, there's a, there is a poster of Huey P. Newton in the film. Interesting, isn't that, right? Anyway, because from the Black Panther Party for Self-Defense, you know, everybody knows that people was confusing the film. They, they sent the Marvel character Black, uh, Black Panther with, um, with the Black Panther Party for Self-Defense that existed, that started in 1966, just like the comic book character started in 1966. Just that the comic book character started like July 66, and I think the the Black Panther Party started like October, you know, September, October of 66. Anyway, back to this ancillary kind of thing. So, but what also happens 
with the the um, the actors and the directors and the, and the designers, if they have a hit movie, then they, then of course everybody wants to hire them because they they say they're competent or they they maybe they are just on a lucky streak or whatever it is. So people like say, uh, like I I know that I saw this film. I think it's either this message to no message from. Message from the King, or Message from a King. It starts Chadwick, Chadwick Boseman. And nobody talks about that because they, they talk about his Jackie Robinson and his, and his uh, James Brown. Ugh, I'm sorry. James Brown and his uh, Thurgood Marshall. But the movies he did before, the one I think he also did uh, Gods of Egypt. Nah, no, no, no. That's he played. I think he played like an. I didn't see that film, but I heard it. He played like sort of an effeminate like, character. Yeah. Anyway. Um, uh, but that film, um, uh, Message from a King, or from, from the King from a King, something like that. Look, look it up. I should look it up myself. Um, that film, he does a lot of physical stuff. It's a, it's it's a it's a revenge film. See, I like revenge films and heist films and stuff like that. And it and it takes place in in uh, in uh, California. I think it must be L.A. or something. It takes L.A. or something like that. Um, but um, but it's but the person's background. That the act character's background is South African, okay? He's a special police person from South Africa. You don't know that until the last bit. Sorry if I spoiled it for anybody. Anyway, so, um, uh, so, 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 so now, in fact, Chadwick Boseman, when that film, he was, I read the credits, he was an executive producer on that film, which means he has something, you know, something, uh, something more than just an actor, right? I mean, he might even get some money from him, or he has somehow he put some, he has some skin in the game for for this particular film, uh, uh, which is different than uh, just being an actor, right? In fact, I think he writes. He also writes. Um, so it's always good to have an actor who writes because then they can sort of you know work with the work with the script if, if they give them permission to do that. So anyway, so so I just want to get all that out uh, because then people have cash. Let me give you an example. Like like uh, Lupita uh, Lupita Nyong'o, right? She was born in, in Mexico, I believe, and she you know uh, has connect uh, Kenyan connection and also UK connection and uh, American connections. Is the UK connection? I think she has all those connections. But she speaks she speaks Spanish, English, Swahili whatever Kenyan uh, uh, language that, from the regions that she comes from in Kenya. She has like four languages, maybe five under, under her belt. But this gives her tremendous, you know, flexibility. In fact, I, always, I said a long time ago, that uh, Pedro Onivar, the, 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 the uh, uh, Spanish uh, producer, uh, director, he, he actually likes black. He likes black people. He likes black women. Well, I don't see a lot of them in this film, but he likes black women. I know he, I know he personally likes Samuel L. Jackson's wife. And once I say likes me, no appreciation for a craft or the rest of that stuff. So it's interesting because if she works with him, that would be an interesting film, whatever they come up with. Wow, that would be really interesting. Uh, 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 but 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 I'm saying she has this flexibility that she could um, uh, work in Spanish. She can work in you know any in, in Swahili. She can work in all these different languages. But you don't have a lot of that flexibility other places. What's most important about this film to me is the fact that the, the, it draws from so many different uh, personalities from so many different regions in, in the world, you know? You, and, and that's really a, a tribute to, to how black people, black people are, are everywhere, you know? They're everywhere. So, anyway, so, so I just want to get all that out. This, like I said, it's an ancillary thing. I'm not giving any spoiler away. I will get into the film probably on a Tuesday or Wednesday, something like that. I might do one more ancillary thing. But just, just know that yeah, when you have some, so you have this power. When you have a film like this, and that that a lot of people will be getting, um, will be noticed. You know, uh, I I mentioned in part one of this ancillary uh, uh, thing is that somebody like Ruthie Carter, right? Her, all her costuming, whatever, have, will have a new appreciation, and then uh, that will also give the job opportunities and all kinds of things to uh, up and coming designers and stuff like that. So it's really an interesting time that we're in creatively as far as black people go, goes or, 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 you know, I would say, uh, um, uh, let's say uh, true Africans from all over the diaspora uh, who goes. So the next one I'm gonna talk about, I'm gonna start talking about characters. I might skip a day, I might skip Sunday, and I might just do this on Monday. I'll see what happens. But certainly after the week, after these first four days, I'm gonna see how much, you know, the momentum, maybe a lot of people see it, so we'll, we'll see what happens. So that's what we have to say right now. Wakanda.